Eddie Murphy. Batman. Batman. Oh, Batman, yes. Bella Lugos is dead. So, Peter, you're here in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, but as I kind of showed you earlier, what can you tell the people about this? What is this, Peter well, Murphy? This was the original, uh, this was kind of... Who is that there? Who is that? This is me, looking extremely model-like, and this was uh, an ad that I did for Max L Tapes back in 1981. And uh, it was at the height of the Bauhaus imagery thing, uh, where, where we was going out looking like we did. And I thought this would be quite... Uh, subversive to have have the fans see me sort of appear in this like major major mainstream ad for uh recording did you get any kind of free tapes out of the deal i got a lot of free tapes out of the deal actually so it was uh but that's for uk fans what what's the difference between what about this peter the, the that's the american version that's the the Midwest American version because of Because I've been buying that for years thinking that's Peter Murphy. Uh, that isn't me. That, that That's a mid-Atlantic sort of model. The cleaned up version? Yeah. No bats at all? Nothing at all. No, but these are not bats. These are geese. These are wild geese down. The, these are the, you know, the classic sort of uh, keech wild geese that are hung on many a brick wall. And they're not bats. Well, speaking of geese and birds, the Wild Birds tour, you were here last time, but do you remember the time before when you were here in Vancouver with Bauhaus? You were playing, and there was another band playing that night. No, there was The Backstreet? No. Oh, in town, you mean? Yes. The Backstreet Boys were playing the same night as Bauhaus were. We were aware. And I was driving in to Vancouver to go to the Bauhaus gig, and I was looking at all the bus stops. There were all these people dressed in black at one bus stop, all these people dressed in white at another bus stop. And I thought... Kind of, that's interesting. And then I thought, Backstreet Boys, New Kids on the Block, what is the connection there? Jordan Knight of New Kids on the Block wears a Ba House t-shirt in one of his videos? The right stuff? No idea what the connection is. And in Chicago, this is the influence you've had, Peter, to ban Chicago, you know, Peter Sitara. Do you remember his video, You're the Inspiration? He's wearing a Ba House shirt as well. That's... That's great, isn't it? Well, d definitely what I've got to say about that is about house merchandise is the most bootlegged merchandise you can imagine on this on this world. And, you know, we don't see a, a dime out of it. You know, yourself, like the people you inspire, Peter. Because I was reading some more stuff about you, and I was saying there were some people who had a gig of yours um, a little while back, and some guy got a water bottle thrown at him by Peter D., your guitarist, Peter D. Mm -hmm. He threw a water bottle, and this guy in the crowd started bleeding. And instead of, like, you know, being horrified, his girlfriend was like, cool, he got hit by Peter D. of Peter Murphy's band. Like, all this fanatical love for the band. Like, blood, and yet it's still okay. Uh, Peter was talking about that, actually. Uh, the border crossing today, and he was saying that that, that was that was a complete misunderstanding. I mean, he he now hands them very gently to the audience because he was uh, having thrown a bottle and read that to his horror. They, you know, he'd cut somebody up during the show. He was he was lucky. You know, he felt lucky that he wasn't sued for that, jokingly. But uh, well, don't yeah, don't play. He, he don't downplay that. yourself a bit about there, because I read another review where it said a woman ended up in a hospital because she fainted at the gig, and she wanted you to come back and wanted more, like hospitals, blood, Peter. You do inspire quite a bit. Apparently so. You know, Saturday Night Live, apparently, on, on their gothic skit, play Bela Lugosi as uh, the soundtrack to their gothic jokes on there. So it's becoming a little bit sort of, uh, I don't know, undervalued, I think. 
Do you think, Peter, um, regarding goth, that perhaps um, you're one of the ones that still believes in it? Like, the Sisters of Mercy would never attend something like the Goth Convergence Festival. And actually, Kareen over here, your number one fan in Vancouver, fan in Vancouver, Kareen, you have a question for Peter about the Goth Convergence Festival. Yeah, I do. You played the Convergence Goth That's Music right. Festival mm -hmm. uh, last May in Seattle, and they brought you out as a surprise guest mm -hmm. on the last day. How did that all come about, and how that was, was that? That was uh, simply a... a yeah. The time I was talking to Bootleg TV, who were based in Seattle, and we were uh, one of the ladies there, Violet, who worked at Bootleg TV, asked me to come and play at this uh, convention. And this was actually just like a, this was an opportunity to see if this sort of tour would work. Actually, this was the first occasion that I had the chance to to walk out and play a very stripped down, actually the purely acoustic set in front of an audience who would be considered hardcore fans and uh, you know it was either it, it was kind of the acid test of this tour so that's why I did that it was kind of like a testing ground and where better to test it uh, than a, a gothic convention I need a clear water Goth being misunderstood, as you mentioned, Saturday Night Live. Like, David Bowie, he's year zero for goth, isn't he? That's year zero for goth, isn't it, Peter Murphy? It's been asked a lot of times, so I can tell you after down that. I have no idea about gothic music, whatever, whatsoever. I don't know any gothic bands other than Marilyn Manson and Nine Inch Nails, which every person in the street knows about. <laughs> Shula Lamekum. Pardon? Shula Lamekum? No, that, I think that's Hebrew, isn't it? Oh, no, I was trying to say hi in Turkish. No, that's not hi. But you do live in Turkey, though, right? Very bad Turkish, young man. Oh, I'm sorry, I had it written out phonetically. Shula Lamekum? No. The reason I was told that is on my... Salamun Aleikum. Oh, sorry about that. Salamun Aleikum. Actually, the, uh, the Hebrew version is more like your pronunciation, actually. Shula Lamekum. So, Peter, living in Turkey, I guess you know Turkish quite well by doing that. Recently, there was that terrible earthquake that happened there. Were you affected by that at all? Were you rattled at all? Because it was just awful. Not personally affected, although uh, it, was, it was about 100 miles away. And, of course, it was devastating. And we as uh, civilians literally tried to help out, dig people out. And also, we were sending in lots of uh, supplies and supply trucks and stuff because the government were really caught on the harp and so it's still unresolved really. There, there are people homeless and still living in tents and it's an ongoing situation, yeah. It was, it was a human tragedy. Well, thanks so much for your time, Peter. Anything else you'd like to add to the people out there no, at all? Thank you, no. Well, thanks so much. Keep, thank on rocking in the, keep on rocking in the free world and doot doot doo loot doo What can you do with this person? Doot doot doo loot doo Ikmek? Help him sometime. Oh, Peter, do 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 do. Keep on taking the pills.